In this video, I'm going to be showing you another extremely useful device that everyone should have if they're into electronics, vacuum forming, if you're working with tinted windows, or you're looking for a way to soften up old decals in order to make removal much easier. Here we have a compact mini heat gun. This is available in a 110 to 130 volt version, 300 watts, as well as a 220 to 240 volt version. As usual, links will be placed in the video description area along with a coupon code to help save you money if you're interested in this product after watching this video. Now the good thing about a heat gun like this, when you're working on wiring and you have your heat shrink tubing slid over like you see here, you may have a lot of wires placed very close together like that and you could also be working underneath a dashboard where you don't want to be taking a match or a lighter and reaching under there because what's going to happen you're going to end up applying too much heat and possibly burning the insulation on the wires that are in close proximity to the wire that has the heat shrink you're also not going to want to apply heat using an open flame if you're working in a bilge of a boat or under your hood of your car or anywhere near a gas tank where explosive vapors are present. Now this type of a gun I also use on my vacuum forming plate. If you have not seen any of those videos, you can click right over here with the circle with the eye. A drop down menu will appear and you'll see those highly interesting videos. I used to use a larger heat gun, but this one here does a fantastic job on that 5x5 five five sheet of thermoplastic. Okay, this is a look at the inside of this mini heat gun. 120 volt power supply entering the unit, on off switch. You have this DC motor rated 120 volts DC. And right over here, there's a diode, another one there. There's actually four of them. It's making a full wave bridge rectifier, converting the AC into DC to drive that motor. The fan rotates in this direction, pushing the airflow through these holes and directing them through this metal tube where the heating element is wrapped around this mica insulator. Air is drawn in through the holes right here as well as holes on the other side of this unit. Okay, now that you've seen the inside, let me take a couple of temperature readings coming off of the nozzle here. Generally you would place the wire with the heat shrink tubing on it between one and two inches away from the nozzle. If you hold it too close, you may overheat the tubing and damage it, or even damage the insulation on the wire. So make sure you hold it around 1 to 2 inches from the nozzle. Let me give you some temperature readings off of this nozzle. I'm going to be using the Must Tool Digital Multimeter set to the temperature range using the thermocouple right over here. Turn on the heat gun. And I'm going to hold it around one inch away. You could look for the temperature in Fahrenheit right there. And you can see the reading is right around 300. You move it further away by about 2 inches, it'll be a little cooler. And if you move it even closer to the nozzle, it'll be even hotter. Okay, the next thing I want to do is a little demo. I'm going to solder these two wires together, slide the heat shrink over, turn on this unit, and show you how well it works. Next step, I'm going to apply some rosin coarse solder. Take the heat shrink tubing, slide it over the wire. See how nice that looks. All right. And 
And the beauty is you could do many wires at once, position them all in the same area, take the nozzle, and apply the heat to all of them at the same time. Very important that you do not block the air intake opening on this side or on that side. Plenty of room on this handle to hold it there. You can hold it like this, like a pen. Just don't block those openings. This is designed to be operated 10 full minutes continuously. After that, you must let it cool off. And there you have it. A nice job. There's no carbon soot. Everything is heat shrunk perfectly. And it's not hot enough to damage the insulation on the wire. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.